for another video. Today, what I've got for you is a pretty decent dolly haul. So I went to Dollar Tree, I also went to Myers, and I ordered some things from Target that are off to the side. So y'all know the drill. We're gonna take these bags, move them out of the way, and just jump on into all this dolly goodness and loveliness. First, I'm gonna show you what I got from Myers because I only got three things from there. First, I checked out their clearance section and look what I found, yay! Barbie Extra Mini, 70% off. So you can see I only paid $5.10 for this girl here, which is a way better price in my mind. But anyway, this was just so cute and I don't have this one. I'm trying to pick these up on sale as I see them because I know they're gonna go on sale. They were like $16 for these or something. I don't know, I, that price is just no <laughs> for me. I'm sorry, just too much. But you know, like between five and 10, I think is okay. There's the back. I love that they come with the stands and that they have the articulation and everything. Like, that's awesome. This girl is pinky pink and she has a crown. It's so cute. And I love the faces on these. I really, really do. I have a couple. All the ones I've got, I did not pay full price for. I always got them on sale. So I got this cutie to add to my collection. Yay! And then from Myers, brrr, ha, yay! I am so excited. I looked for these. These are the spring ones. I looked for the Valentine ones. Never found the Valentine ones, but I finally found these springy ones with the bunny bunnies and all the cuteness. I got three. I looked at the side, see which ones like you can. This one's the cupcake one. I opened the other two with my mom because she was so curious to see what they were all about because I was so excited about them when I found them. Like, ah! And all that good stuff. You know me, I'm a bunnyaholic, so I just couldn't resist these. These, I wanted these so bad because of all the cute little bunny stuff. So yay, I finally got them. Now the other ones that I opened, I didn't put together. I just showed her what they had in them. And this one, I think what I'll do closer to Easter is I'll open this one and then I'll take the other ones and I'll put them together with y'all because I think that would be a fun video. So yay. And then, brrr, ha, 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 ha. I finally got Avery Styles here. She was my favorite from this wave. I just loved her. I loved her look, her little lavender hair, and her little denim outfit. Now, I didn't want to pay full price for her, but I only saw her a few times, and I never saw her online go on sale. When I saw this one at the store, I just had to grab her. She's an early Easter present from my mom because, like I said, I didn't want to pay full price, and I picked her up, and I went, oh, she's so pretty, and then I put her back, and my mom said, well, I didn't get anything for you for Easter yet and Easter's coming early this year so if you want her grab her so I did this is so cute I just love her and then yeah there were so many I do like Kia here Avery was my favorite I don't have very many Avery's I love the stitching I love all the stuff and I just could not resist grabbing her up because she's so pretty like her face, like look at that y'all. She's almost perfect and she doesn't have wonked bangs or bad anything. It's like she was just meant for me. So I had to grab her and get her and add her to my sort of mini doll collection. So yay! Next I'm gonna show you what I ordered from Target. First, I got this Zuru 5 Surprise Series 2 plushy pets. I just thought they were adorable. It says there's 13 to collect and they were on like super discounted sale, like two or $3. So I had to grab it just to check it out and see what it's about. I have a lot of Bollies that I haven't opened yet. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do like a big Bolly opening with y'all one day and open all these cute Bollies and see what we got. Next from Target, yay! I got this Naturalista's Greg. I'm not much for the boy dolls. If you've been around my channel, you'll know that. I don't really collect them that much, but this one is articulated and I loved his face. I showed you him in a short a while ago when he was first new. I love the little bag. I love the shoes. I love the like pants. Not so crazy about the shirt, but overall really, really like him. He was $7 on clearance or on sale or whatever you want to say. I think it was like $7.49, something like that. And they're regularly like $12.99. I believe. So I thought that was a decent deal for him. And I figured before they sold out or weren't around anymore, I'd grab him for my collection. And then I also grabbed this Barbie girl, this made to move. She's a tall one. Now I got her for body swaps because I have a few dolls, I think in this skin tone. Plus I'm definitely going to grab that new Barbie mermaid and body swap her. The one with the, I think it's, is it the Odell face? I don't know, but there's two new ones that everybody's going crazy about and I just love their faces. So I'm definitely going to get them whenever I can and body swap them. So that's what I got her for. Plus 
She was on sale for like $9, I believe, and they're regularly like $16.99 in the store. So I couldn't resist. I was gonna pick up two, but I didn't wanna be greedy, so I only got one, and I'm just gonna use her for body swaps. I know she kinda has a pretty face, but I don't know. This one, since I ordered them, I would have picked a different face definitely because I don't really care for the way her face looks, you know? All of us dolly collectors have our own aesthetic. I know you guys know what I mean when I say that. There's nothing wrong with her face. She's not like an unpleasant doll to me. It's just something about it seems a little off. Like maybe the eyes are wonked or something. I don't know. Or the face shape. I'm not sure. I just don't love it as far as that goes. But I love that she has the made to move body and that she has the lighter skin tone to match some of the other dolls that have like molded on stuff so I'm gonna use her for that yay and then last from Target but certainly not least brrr, ha, 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 I got a Maya Rain she's so pretty I wasn't gonna get all of these because of the $36 price tag or 36 or 34 something like that but they put her on sale so I got her for 23 something I just didn't have her already. I have some of the other girls. I love her little dress and her little purse. This dress, I'm not that crazy about, but I do love that she has the icy white hair and the like rainbow streak in the back. Here's the back of the box. I have all of them except for Violet now, but I saw them on sale the other day. So now I've picked up Violet. She isn't here yet and I got some second ones of some of these other girls because they were just so cheap, $23, so I grabbed them for myself. But this girl, I love her, and she came from online, so I think I got pretty lucky. Her face looks pretty good, her hair doesn't look bad, nothing looks pilled or picked. Sometimes, I know when they're brand new, they have like defects and stuff. This one doesn't seem to have any, and I'm super excited to have her, especially at the discounted price. Yay for sales, yay for Dolly Goodness. Everything is definitely not all gonna fit, so if you see stuff moving around, that's why. Now I'm gonna show you what I got from Dollar Tree. First, I wanted to show you the cute little bag, seeing how I've been doing that lately. I love that it says, somebody loves you. That's so cute. And the little feet and the little ears on the side. It has little blue bunnies and little carrots. I think that's so adorable. And I love the little chick down here at the bottom. Now I've explained what I do is, is I get the bags and then I pull off the thing and have them zap it. And then I have them put my little treasures that I buy inside the bag because I just think these bags are adorable and I love getting the reusable bags. So that's what I do. My stuff's inside, you can hear it. So here's a little somebody loves you bag. First I grabbed these. These were technically for Valentine's Day. That's why they have the little hearts on them. But it's a burger and fries, y'all plushies and they're supposed to be like best friends or whatever fuzzy friends I just thought they were super cute and I love dinery stuff and kitschy stuff and this was just hilarious to me so I had to get the silly burger and the fluffy fries for my sort of plushie collection I don't really have a plushie collection but I have plushies that are of things that I like like hello kitties and bunnies and stitches and all that good stuff so I just couldn't resist they're so soft and they're so squishy so I had to grab them and then I saw these they only had one. They're cattails, but they're pink, y'all. Here's the barcode if you want to try and get them in your area. I only saw one. I've never seen these before at Dollar Tree. Maybe they're new, but I thought these would go perfect in a little vase for our one six scale dollies, you know, for like clutter and a diorama or whatever. And they were pink, pinky pink, so I couldn't resist them. Had to grab them. And then from the toy section, I couldn't resist this little turtle from Finding Nemo. I forgot God, I think it's Squirt was the name of it. It's so cute. I just could not resist and they only had one and it's so adorable and I love this character from Finding Nemo. So when it was there, I just had to grab it. Could not resist this cute little turtle. And then I grabbed this little funny Easter gnome. Like, I don't really collect these, but I just couldn't resist. They had so much Easter stuff out, and I know that if you want something that's seasonal, you have to grab it or it's going to sell out. That's just how it is at Dollar Tree. People grab this stuff up for crafting and all kinds of cute stuff, and I couldn't resist. It has the bunny ears, and it's pinky, pinky, pink, and the checks. Here is the barcode if you want to try and find it in your area. I love the little sparkly hat. I guess I have a gnome collection now because I have two, no, three. <laughs> 
<laughs> so here's this cute little gnome that I'm gonna add to my collection and I just think it's adorable with the bunny ears. Then I found these really pretty wood signs that you can decorate yourself. I love this stuff if you guys don't know that. I buy these all the time. Sometimes I get around to decorating them and sometimes I don't but these I really want to decorate this year. I just thought this was so pretty and it's raised on these parts. The little flowers here and then this one also it says Easter. It's raised and then the bunny bunny is raised and I just think these are so cute. These will make great decorations or background clutter for the videos and all that stuff so I just couldn't resist these. Had to grab them. I also grabbed this wood beaded garland. It's pink and blue and my colors and it has a little pink bunny at the end. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I really honestly have no idea but I just figured that it would sell out and if I didn't grab at least one I'd probably kick myself because I just thought the beads were really pretty and I thought that the little bunny was super cute. So I grabbed it. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it but we'll figure it out together. I also grabbed these adorable little felt eggs for Easter. I think, yeah, they're stickers. There are six of them. You get two of each style. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them, but like I always say, it's usually for the dollies or some kind of crafty thing that I'm going to get up to. So that's why I grabbed these adorable little eggs. And I also grabbed these little wood bunny bunny bunnies with the little bunny butt tails. These are so cute. Now you can leave them wood, but I know you can also color them with the colored pencils like I do and make them fancy or you could use paint or markers or whatever you wanted to if you didn't want them in this wood tone. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them like I said with the other stuff but they were just so cute and they're like the perfect size. I thought I could make like decor for a dolly diorama for Easter and I could use these. I thought that would be super cute. Maybe make a garland or maybe make like a thing that's like this for the dollies. So I just had to grab these for some kind of cute crafty project. Who knows what I'll get up to. And then I grabbed this pink bunniness. It says it's a table runner. Probably not going to use it for that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Like I said, I grab things because I know that they're going to sell out and I just couldn't resist this. This is so cute with the cutouts and the little bunnies and different shapes. See how this one is like a taller one. That is so cute. So it's pink and it's bunnies and I'm a pinkaholic and a bunny aholic and if you are new here hi nice to meet you but you wouldn't know that I love bunnies and I love pink so now you do then I grabbed this adorable carrot ribbon I have no idea what I'm gonna make probably gonna make a cute bunny girl or an Eastery girl and this will come into play somehow I always grab the ribbons that speak to me even if I don't use them like right when I buy them it might take me a year or two who knows but there's four yards on here and I can't resist when they have cute bunny related stuff to grab it because I know I'm gonna make a custom doll at least try to every year and this always comes in handy love me some carrot ribbon super super cute also from the crafty section I picked up this fabric with the little bicycles on it that have the basket with the little flowers in it started a custom with this fabric and I've been waiting to finish it. I don't know what I did with my fabric that I had. I'm gonna make a purse and it's all involved, but I'll just say that's why I grabbed this because I wanna complete that custom and share it with y'all, but I haven't been able to because I couldn't find the rest of my fabric, <laughs> which is terrible. But anyway, that's why I grabbed this. So I'm gonna finish my custom and I just love this fabric. It's so cute and it makes me think of like a French cafe and I absolutely love it. And then I grabbed these, not for me, but for the dollies. I just thought these were really pretty. This one has like lilac-y purple in it. These kind of have like blue tips. They're so pretty. And then these, I just couldn't resist how fluffy they were. They're too big for the dolls, but you can cut them down. And I've done it before in the past. I've made customs. You can either glue it on or you can slice. I know that sounds crazy, but us dolly collectors do a lot of crazy stuff. You can slice right where the eyeliner is and use something thin and poke it down in and then glue it together and it looks like natural eyelashes and I just had to grab them because I want to get into doing more like in-depth customs with y'all eventually so I grabbed these for that 
And then from the crafty section, again, I got these earring findings to make earrings for the dollies. I just thought this was a great deal. All this stuff in here for $1.25. They have the French hooks. They have these other ones. See the little thing there? I don't know if you can see it at the end where you could hang a little charm or a bead or something. And I got them in both colorways, the silver and the gold. And I just love, look at these little top things. You could do a million things with all this little stuff that's in here. So the little pins, you can make your own. You take your pliers and you zigzag that and then you just put something on the end and you can make a million different dolly earrings for your dolly. So yay for craft project and yay for dolly goodness. Then I grabbed this, mostly just because it's pinky pink. It says glittered drape for Easter. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It says, you know, around the window or on the mantle is the suggestion it gives. But I'm gonna use it for something dolly related somehow. Diorama, cuteness, pinkness, pinky pinkness, whatever I want to do with it. And I never see these. I see them at Christmas, but I've never seen these ones for like Easter. So I thought it might sell out. So I had to grab it because it's pink and I wanted it. And then I grabbed this cute little Easter egg farms bunny treats sold here sign. Just look at the cute bunny, bunny, bunny. And it's so pastel -y and cute. And then up here in the Easter egg writing, it's glittery. And down here where it says sold here, I don't know if you can see, it's glittery. And it looks like distressed and stuff, but it's just the wood board. Sometimes they're metal, but this is just the wood board one. They had a million different ones. Here is the barcode if you want to try and get the same one. I could have bought them all. They were so cute. And you know me and my bunny a holly cart wanted them all. I try to resist and I only get the ones that I just can't live without and this was one of them. I just thought it was so super cute so I had had to grab it. And then I grabbed these adorable little tablecloths. I don't use them as tablecloths. Y'all should know by now that I use these. If you've been around my channel for longer than a minute that I use these for the backdrops for dolly fun and dolly goodness for us to share and have like cute things. I just thought this one was adorable with the little bunnies obviously bunny bunny bunnies and then in the middle it's like checked flowers and stuff you can see the top here and like look at the little butterflies and the dragonflies and all the cute stuff and then this one just had all the chicks I know there's no bunnies but this was just so cute with the little chicks and it says happy Easter so I thought I would grab these for us for cute backgrounds yay and then I grabbed these if you couldn't tell it's a big bunny fun coloring book bunny fun it even says it I could not resist this. It was the only one they had. So adorable. Y'all who have been around my channel know why, because I'm a bunny bunny aholic. And these images in here are so stinking cute. There's Thumper. Look at all the bunnies. So cute. Oh, look at that one. It's waving high. Oh my goodness. Look at all the bunnies. Bunny bunny bunnies. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So there's the back. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. I had to grab this for that reason because I'm a crazy bunny lady, but I love to color as well. Like sometimes I just want to like chill out or have a moment. I love making it look fancy. You know, I know it's a coloring book and they're meant for kids, but I do them in such a way that they look kind of art-ish. I'm not saying I'm an artist or anything, but that's why I get these. And I also couldn't resist the Hello Kitty one. So cute. I have a stack of coloring books, but I love Hello Kitty and I just thought some of these images are just so plain and cute and I can do whatever I want with them and when I finally get my dolly room all together maybe I'll cut some of them out and hang them up who knows but that's why I got these you know just for those times when you just want to like de-stress or whatever and do something fun and so I got these for that and last but certainly not least I got these pink bunny socks can you stand it look at the adorable bunny oh my goodness so if y'all have been around my channel for longer than a minute you know I'm gonna make something dolly related out of this either like a sweater or a little jumpsuit or a bodysuit or a little dress who knows what I'm gonna get up to I love oh I didn't even know that it says ears to spring that's so cute. I never turned it over and looked at it. I saw the little blue here on like the heel part and on the toe part here, but I didn't see that on the back. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna use this for. I'm gonna make something dolly related out of these cute socks. So we'll just see what I come up with. Well, y'all, that's all for my three store haul that I did from Myers, Dollar Tree, and Target. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've been with me to this point in the video, I have to say huge hug and love to all you subscribers and watchers out there. Y'all are the best. And I also
also have to say thank you, thank you so very much for being with me and for watching, y'all. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy, and safe, having a great, great, great dolly dolly day, and that all the good, best things that are in this life that can come to you, I honestly, truly hope they will. I have to say, great, big, huge, 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 lovely subscriber love to all you wonderful, lovely subscribers out there. I can never say enough just how special, just how wonderful, just how great y'all are, how much I appreciate every single one of you, and just how lovely it is that we have people from all over the world that have come and joined our great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family to spread the Dolly goodness all around. So I have to say thank you, thank you so very much for everything, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, y'all. Come and join the great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family that we have built here together, which grows by the day because y'all come along, hit that button and say, boop, we like your Dolly silliness and craziness and loveliness and all the fun Dolly goodness you get up to. So if you want to become part of the great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have here, come along and join us because we would love to have you. And as I always say and mean in every single way, absolutely everyone, no matter what you're into, is always, always welcome here. Well, y'all, we did it. We made it through this three-store fun Dolly Goodness haul. So y'all know what I'm gonna say. Happy, happy dolling, and bye, y'all!